Okay, Jack class, we've got a bit more information about Mary Winston Jackson. Mary was born April 9th, 1921 in Hampton, Virginia. She graduated with highest honours from the All Black Phoenix High School, then graduated from Hampton Institute in 1942 with degrees in mathematics and physical science. She taught maths at an all black high school in Maryland for a year before taking a job as a bookkeeper back in her hometown. She married Levi Jackson Sr. and they had two children. Ma Mary began working as a computer at Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory in 1951. She worked in a supersonic wind tunnel, studying the impact of wind forces that were nearly twice the speed of sound. In order to be promoted to engineer, she needed to take graduate level courses in physics and maths. She had to petition the city of Hampton, Virginia for permission to attend the classes because they were held at a whites only high school. So she had to get a judge to pass a law to say that she could attend. She completed the classes and in 1958, she became the first female African-American aerospace engineer at NASA. Wow. Late in her career, Mary took a position in NASA's Equal Opportunity Office, where she worked to support the careers of other women and minorities. She volunteered for more than 30 years as a Girl Scout leader. She died in 2005 at age 83.